about yourself or about the a process or about somebody else, whatever. somehow seemed to be connected with the fact that the language was so limited. So we had three things we could be, uh, lying down, sitting, or standing up. And the, the, the more layers you would uh, put into that, I don't know, constellation of people yes. being together, the more difficult it would be to maintain your individuality and feel okay about it. So, for example, the moment we started to introduce, or one of us started to introduce hand movements and leg movements and stuff, then there was that pressure of, oh, should I be doing the same? Or should I be complementing that yes. particular <laughs> movement? Yes. Uh, and, and, uh, and so thanks for like making it clear from the beginning that it had to be kept simple. <laughs> Yeah. Um, because that really, did, for me at least, it just really clicked in the, oh right, it's, it, it's, it's okay, still, it, it's okay to create a safe place where we don't have to orchestrate a choreography of movement, right. and that is not what we were looking for, and it was okay, it was safe, it was nice, it was a pleasant place to be, of being we within, uh, within a, a group of eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. mm -hmm. and, and as you point out, and if you facilitate this, the more you add in, the more you don't know how or where to pay attention. Because the more there, you can project meaning, but you don't know what that meaning is particularly. So oftentimes in the foundation course, as you may or may not remember, I don't, I don't want people to use their arms at all. As soon as you start adding your arm gesture, then we're not clear. And it's also much more possible to use movement to, you know, movement like words, the function of them is to communicate. But oftentimes we use words and we use movement 
to block feeling. So it's actually so that you don't actually have to reveal anything. And we have a habit of doing that. And so to bring the arms in can sometimes be both warding off, even though it's, you think it's, it's, it's being communicative. So to, to, be, to not be able to use your arms and just have this torso gesture is simpler and, as you say, it's more spacious and it creates, you can create a safety sense without feeling obligated to do something. The groups that are together more, I mean, some of these groups were lovely, but they were able to add their arms and hands and that worked out well. But again, if you were facilitating it with a beginning group, the simpler the better. And just those three things make it make it clear that this is what you're looking at, is spatial relationships, how the constellation of people changes in the group and what that feels like. And it, it, you know, movement, it doesn't have, you know, you think, oh, it means something. Every movement, every shape means something. Like it has, it communicates something, and ancient, right? Because as long as there have been people, it isn't just gene, right? As long as there have been human beings, they make this shape, or they make this shape. And there's something about the just natural dignity and beauty of the body that is incredibly powerful, just to see it. But we often can miss it because we're so oriented to this thinking, talking, head world. So we're trying to bring that into the just natural flow of conversation so that we notice that part of the Yeah, thank you. Anything else here that you notice? Yeah. I and V uh, experienced another dimension of V, uh, which was uh, the the uh, awareness of the neighbor neighboring group. So at some point, the space between us and the space between the groups that would uh, reduce, and sometimes you're almost the outer line that your group is drawing is merging, yeah. intersecting with the other one, yeah. and felt the attraction barrier almost being pulled from the back and uh, and if uh, and turning and being with them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that felt it at the edge. That's happened the, occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> or a person just doesn't like their group. Yeah, I want to when you mentioned the word ancient, we had a something happened here that was it definitely was not orchestrated but one of our group ended up kneeling, and three of us were like a triangle. Yeah. And we stood there, and the power of the space was like a blessing of this person. It was like someone being knighted or initiated. Or we were all kind of blown away by just the stance, and we just ended up being in that place. And it was really a beautiful experience. So it, it, the kind of the timelessness of we shape 